there's my baby. There she is. Oh, hey babe. Long time no see. I'm really sorry, but I'm back for you. Okay? My baby bends. All the tires are good. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, now I gotta open that side. Yeah. 190 smell. Yeah, I love that. Anyways, I gotta I covered the shifter as you can see because there's a wooden shifter. I didn't want this shifter to go bad or like the wood piece to go bad. So I covered it up from sun. So I'm gonna open the hood and reconnect the battery. We might have to jump it. There she is. Amazing machine. Let's check these fluids really quick. Oil good. Coolant. I'm gonna be replacing this uh, reservoir soon. It's pretty bad and original from 1991. Okay, let's connect this bad boy. Oh, I think the battery's still okay. I'm gonna tighten it up and we're gonna try to crank this baby. Okay, I got the sunshade off and everything. And seatbelt sign is on. It's working, I don't know how good it's gonna be, let's see. Okay, let's see, my first try. Are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me? This car started. It's misfiring. It's misfiring, misfiring. Kind of bad. All right, baby, you can do it, baby. <laughs> oh. World pressure good. I think she's back to life, guys. That's crazy. First try. It's been sitting for 10 months. 10 months I've been gone, guys. 10 months. I think hopefully these are the last 10 months I'll be gone this uh, this long. It's insane, guys. Take care of and love your amazing classic German cars. This is what I'm talking about. This is insane. Obviously, we have some lifter tick, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. I'm going to let it run for a bit. She's been sitting. And I got to check the power steering level, too. Make sure it's good. Wow, what an amazing machine, guys. I have no words. Power steering, good. All right. <laughs> oh, baby bands, I missed you, baby. I missed you so much. You're my cutie pie. Oh my God. I missed that noise. This is, I need to hear that engine roar. Oh my goodness. Subscribe to my channel, guys, if you haven't yet. There's gonna be a lot of cool content. All right, I'm gonna have to wash this baby because as you can see, it's been, she's been sitting. I'm not gonna obviously, you know, activate the wiper or anything. I have to make sure that I clean the wiper first and the area. All right, let's go ahead and exercise the brakes. The brakes are fine. Wheel, turn the wheel back and forth a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna activate everything exercise the parking brake and everything guys remember if your car is going to be sitting for quite a while you need to make sure that you leave this parking brake off all right you don't apply the parking brake as it can get seized up okay perfect amazing machine radio hell yeah amazing Okay, well, it, it turns, it's turning on, there you go. I'm not gonna worry about that too much now. But anyways, I'm gonna let it, you know, warm up a little bit more. Let's make sure our lights are good. Blinkers. 
I'm so proud of these amazing machines. My 190 E, my baby Benz. Yes. Baby Benz. Sheesh. All right, you guys are ready? We're gonna try and drive this baby right now. Amazing. Slowly, 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 baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, my amazing machine. My 190 E. I'm gonna take it slow. First couple steps, first baby steps. Shit's amazing. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that word. Oh my goodness, I love this thing so much. What an amazing machine. I gotta exercise the uh, the rotors or the brakes because they're obviously rusty. So. Amazing. She's doing pretty well. Pretty well so far, guys. She's an amazing, legendary machine. I gotta condition the leather on this baby today and everything and wash her wow <laughs> i miss driving this baby pens <laughs> makes me so happy oh my gosh yeah i'm just taking this baby on the test drive right now amazing machine i gotta exercise this thing and uh, make sure she's good and, uh, yeah other than that she's doing amazing I'm just trying to take it slow, little by little, and uh, it's awesome. <laughs> She's alive, my baby Benz, my amazing machine. <laughs> I love this thing. Uh, the mirrors, everything, I looped everything up before leaving that time. Yeah, amazing. All right, guys, we're going to do a routine oil change and check up on this car. I'm going to take off the air filter. And I also have this piece. This is actually a piece that's been missing on my car. So I'm going to clean it up and install it. Uh, it goes, it's basically a cover for the ignition coil right there because mine is missing. So we're going to install this one. You know, it's just little things that make me happy. So that's one of them. And then the engine's already warmed up and everything. So we're going to drain the oil. I have the pan and everything else, so it's awesome. And then in the future, eventually, I'm going to be actually, you know, taking this engine apart because I probably want to change the timing chains and everything else and the seals on it and probably the head gasket. So uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff that I'll be doing to it. Uh, it's just sometime in the future, you know, right now I'm just kind of like doing like small things here and there as much as I can, you know. Uh, and I want to try and finish the interior work on it as well and the heater core replacement That's really really important for me. And then after that, I'll, you know after I'm done with the interior uh, Work and heater core. I will you know move on to the engine side So I'm getting ready to pull the Cover or the whole air, air filter housing and uh, I looked inside and it looks pretty clean uh, The air filter is a little dusty, but I'll replace it next time when I do the whole engine rebuild and stuff, so I'll do that. All right, so I loosen this filter. Remember, gotta loosen that first because the oil is gonna be dripping down to the oil pan. You hear that? It's the oil dripping down, so loosen it up a little bit like that. 
and because I have the heater core bypassed that's why this hose is a little weird here so don't pay attention to that um, other than that I'm getting ready to pull the dashboard soon on this baby and get this heater core replaced so oil is draining so I think I drove like 2500 miles and now I'm changing it again While the oil is draining, I cleaned this up a little more, the cover for the ignition coil, and I'm gonna install it now. There's plenty of space now to install it. So what I realized is somebody, whoever replaced this ignition coil in the past, they installed the wrong one. It's probably for like a W124, because the one for a 190E has to face the other direction, so that those wires have to be facing forward, and then the plug wire has to be facing aft. So right now, to install this cover, it's gonna have to be basically like this. And then I no wonder this main ignition wire is too long because it's the wrong ignition coil. So I'll have to replace that. While I'm here, I'll lubricate all these bushings with automatic trans fluid. And then I have this rag right there, just so this hose, this coolant hose doesn't rub through the oil filter and start leaking. And this is just temporarily, like I said, I have the heater core bypass right now. That's why it's like that. As soon as I fix it, it will, this rag will not be there anymore. All right. Putting full synthetic mobile one, drain plug is back and tightened, filter is in, everything is back together. Let's put this oil in. All right, so ready to start it. Also forgot to show you, I installed this uh, ignition coil cover. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a different uh, ignition coil because this one's probably for, uh, for a W124, so a little different but it still works um i'm talking about the ignition coil itself uh and uh yeah other than that everything looks good here so we're gonna go ahead and start this thing up 